Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. And welcome back. We're going to take a look at your almanac out there today because it was very uh, warm out there with temperatures making it up into the upper 70s, close to 80 degrees. We probably would have made it up even a little bit warmer here in Quincy if we didn't have a couple of showers out there. Also very humid and uh, we're going to be uh, seeing the humidity continue as we go through the next couple of days with uh, the dew points going to be very high out there. We're going to take a look at just how high they are. Check out the moisture content in the atmosphere and you'll just see it's just been kind of sweltering out there. Satellite radar picture right now as we go over the past several hours here, the last six hours or so, you can see a couple of those showers pushing through the tri-states here as we went through the evening hours. This main system we're watching right now out across portions of uh, eastern Kansas getting into western Missouri. We're seeing some stronger storms with that associated right now with, associated with this line here. You can see pushing through the KC metro area right now. And there is uh, a tornado watch out for portions of uh, western Missouri getting into eastern Kansas as well as we go through the rest of the overnight. Now that line of storm we think is going to weaken a bit as it continues to press off towards the east closer to the tri-state. So we may get a couple of showers, maybe a rumble of thunder here in the tri-states as we get to the early morning hours, maybe pre-dawn hours getting into the early morning hours on our Sunday. But the good news is this line is going to weaken considerably as it goes through the uh, north central portions of Missouri. So I think by the time it gets to us here in the tri-state, it should be pretty weak just dealing with a couple of showers. You can see those winds right now across the region coming in out of the southeast anywhere from maybe 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting even higher than that at times, really bringing in this moist uh, air, uh, getting this uh, moist air mass here, which is really going to be setting up uh, for the chance of some of those stronger storms as we get through the day tomorrow. Because normally, when we want these storms to fire, we need uh, getting some instable conditions in the atmosphere, which would be getting this moisture content in place, and then also getting a trigger, which would be a cold front, and also maybe some daytime heating in here. May get a couple of those ingredients as we go through the day tomorrow. So when we see these numbers up here into the mid to upper 60s like this. Yeah, that's feeling pretty humid out there. And you probably noticed that as you stepped out today, just uh, really kind of hitting you in the face out there, some of that humidity. And the current conditions at this hour, even the 10 o'clock hour right now, we're sitting in the 70s for those current temperatures with uh, most of the sites around the tri-states reporting uh, just a few clouds and mostly clear skies in some areas. And again, a close-up look at those dew points. And you know, when we see them up here getting into the mid to upper 60s like this, again, just very humid air mass in place. Now, the thunderstorm forecast as we go through the rest of the overnight hours, you can see the significant, really great threat right now through the next couple of hours is down here around Oklahoma City, where our own Dave Holder has been out there chasing some storms as we went through the last couple of hours. But you can see this area in red here, that's where we're looking for the severe potential in place. But then closer off towards the Tri-States, that's just where a couple of general thunderstorms are possible as we go through the overnight hours. But that changes a bit as we get through the day tomorrow. Now, what should happen is we're going to have that line of storms push through early in the morning and have some cloud cover associated with that. But then we think those clouds are going to clear off and then we should get some sunshine in here tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon. And with all the moisture in place, getting that sun beating down, that's really going to help to warm things up and that could set off some thunderstorms. And we think, again, here in this darker red area, an enhanced risk from the storm predictions there. And the timing with these storms looks like later in the afternoon and evening, some strong storms may form. And the threat with this would definitely be large hail damaging winds, maybe even a few isolated tornadoes. So we'll be watching this very closely. We'll put the forecast computer model in the motion here, stopped at 11 o'clock tonight. And you see there's that line of storms pushing east from Kansas City. And the model's doing a pretty good job of picking up that we think this is going to weaken a lot as it gets towards north central Missouri around 3.30 in the morning. And then as it continues to press towards the east here, here we go. You see it really breaking up. Now, as we got the stop at 7.30 a.m. So let's see what the model's going to do here with the cloud cover. And you can see it does put a little break in the action there, but really it's going to, that's going to be very critical as we go through the day tomorrow to see exactly how much sunshine we get in here to see if we're going to warm things up and then we could get a couple of strong thunderstorms firing up. Cold front arrives as we get towards Monday, really clearing things out later in the day. Monday getting into Tuesday, it's going to get pretty chilly out there Monday night and then the next couple of days, Tuesday and Wednesday after that look like we're actually going to be sitting pretty below average as we get some high pressure settling in. So tonight, 67 degrees here in Quincy, still staying very humid out there overnight. 85 tomorrow, so we're really going to be warming it up with that humidity in place. Again, that storm threat tomorrow will definitely depend on how much sunshine we get in here. 67 as we go through again the overnight tonight. Mostly cloudy, humid, a couple of isolated thunderstorms, especially later at night, early tomorrow morning. We have those couple of those storms around. 85 as we get out there for your Sunday tomorrow with scattered strong thunderstorms developing breezy conditions as well. And the next seven days showing 
Now, we will clear things out Monday and Tuesday, getting the sunshine back and your temperature is making it up close to 65 on Tuesday. So getting pretty mild out there as that cold front pushes through, actually going to be sitting a little below average by the time we get to Wednesday with a daytime high temperature only around 60 degrees and also throwing in a pretty likely chance of some showers in here by midweek, David. But then we clear it out again Tuesday, Friday, or Thursday, Friday, with temperatures in the 60s, and then another chance of some thunderstorms as we get into next week. And so we'll be watching that very closely. A Memorial Day weekend coming up. I know a lot of people probably have plans out there, so we'll have to watch that as well. But the main threat as we go through the next 24 hours will be tomorrow. So we'll keep you posted on that. Sounds good, Jeremy. Thank you so much. Yeah.